Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel on Engineering Mathematics. In this video, we will discuss the concept of polar form of the complex numbers. We will also discuss the concepts like modulus and arguments of product and division of two complex numbers. So let us see what is polar form of the complex number. Let z is equal to x plus i y be any complex number. Then its polar form is obtained by substituting x is equal to r cos theta and y is equal to r sin theta in z. Note that x is equal to r cos theta and y is equal to r sin theta is the relation between Cartesian coordinates x and y and polar coordinates r and theta. Now after substituting these values for x and y in z, we get z is equal to r cos theta plus i into r sin theta. Since r is common, you can take it out. So we get z is equal to r into cos theta plus i sin theta. According to Euler's form, cos theta plus i sin theta can be written as e raised to i theta, where e raised to i theta is cos theta plus i sin theta. Note that this r we call as modulus of z and theta we call as argument of z. Now let us see geometrical representation of r and theta. When z is equal to x plus i y is the complex number, then its polar form we know is given by z is equal to r into cos theta plus i sin theta, which is same as r into e raised to i theta. Then this r, which is modulus of z, is nothing but length of the segment OZ, where z is the complex number pointed in the argon plane. So this length OZ is nothing but r, which is modulus of z. And theta, which is argument of z, is nothing but angle made by segment OZ with positive x-axis, like this. So this angle is nothing but argument of this z. I hope you understood what is r and theta, that is modulus and argument of the particular complex number z is equal to x plus i y. Now let us see how to find the modulus of the complex number. Here we will derive a formula for r in terms of x and y. Modulus of the complex number z is equal to x plus i y is denoted by mod of z notation. And since we substitute x is equal to r cos theta and y is equal to r sin theta in z to find its polar form. Now to find out r in terms of x and y, let us calculate what is x square plus y square. Here x square plus y square can be given by r square cos square theta plus r square sin square theta. r square is common, you can take it out. Now we left inside with cos square theta plus sin square theta, which is nothing but 1. So we get x square plus y square is equal to r square. So r will be root of x square plus y square. Since r is length, it cannot be negative. So r is only root of x square plus y square. So modulus of z is nothing but root of x square plus y square. Now let us see an example of this. Consider a complex number z is equal to 2 minus 3i. Here x is 2 and y is minus 3. Then mod of z will be root of 2 square plus minus 3 square, which is nothing but root of 13. I hope you understood how to find out modulus of the complex number z is equal to x plus i y. Now let us see how to find out argument of the complex number. Argument of the complex number z is equal to x plus i y is denoted by theta or arg of z and is obtained as follows. Since we know we substitute x is equal to r cos theta and y is equal to r sin theta in z is equal to x plus i y to find its polar form. Now to find out theta in terms of x and y, we will find out what is y by x. y by x will be r sin theta upon r cos theta. This r and r will get cancelled. Sin theta upon cos theta is tan theta. So theta is tan inverse of y by x. But note that this is argument of the complex number lying in first quadrant only. Now to find out value of theta in remaining quadrants, let us draw this quadrants. Case one is when x and y are both positive. x means this real part and y means this imaginary part. We have already discussed this case over here. We found that 
theta is tan inverse y by x. In case 2, that means when complex number z lies in the second quadrant, that means x is negative and y is positive. In that case, theta is given by pi minus tan inverse y by x. In case when x and y are both negative, that means z lying in third quadrant, in that case, theta is given by pi plus tan inverse y by x. And when x is positive and y is negative, that means when z is lying in fourth quadrant, theta is given by 2 pi minus tan inverse y by x. Now let me show you appropriate examples of this. Consider z is equal to 1 plus i. Here x is 1 and y is also 1. That means this z lies in first quadrant. Then argument of this z is given by formula tan inverse of y by x. Here y is 1, x is 1. So theta will be pi by 4. Now if I take z is equal to 1 minus i, z will lie in fourth quadrant because here x is positive, y is negative. Then theta is given by formula 2 pi minus tan inverse y by x. Here note that while using these formulas, you have to take only mod of values of y and x. So here mod of x is 1, mod of y is 1. So 2 pi minus tan inverse y by x will be 2 pi minus pi by 4, that is 7 pi by 4. So argument of z is equal to 1 minus i is 7 pi by 4. Similarly, for z is equal to minus 1 plus i, theta is equal to 3 pi by 4. And for z is equal to minus 1 minus i, theta is equal to 5 pi by 4. You can pause the video and check the calculation. Now let us proceed to find modulus and argument of product of two complex numbers, say z1 and z2. Say z1 is equal to x1 plus i y1, say it is r1 e raised to i alpha, where r1 is modulus of z1 and alpha is argument of z1. Let z2 be x2 plus i y2, say it is r2 into e raised to i beta, where r2 is modulus of z2 and beta is argument of z2. Then z1 into z2 can be given by r1 into e raised to i alpha into r2 into e raised to i beta. Simplifying this, we get r1 into r2 into e raised to i alpha plus i beta. This i is common, you can take it out. So you have z1 into z2 as r1 into r2 into e raised to i alpha plus beta. Clearly, modulus of z1 into z2 is r1 into r2 and argument of z1 into z2 is alpha plus beta. So we say modulus of z1 into z2 is modulus of z1 into modulus of z2 and argument of z1 into z2 is argument of z1 plus argument of z2. I hope you understood this concept. Now let us see how to find modulus and argument of division of two complex numbers. Consider same complex numbers z1 and z2. So z1 by z2 is given by r1 e raised to i alpha upon r2 e raised to i beta. When we simplify this, we can write this as r1 upon r2 into e raised to i alpha minus beta. So clearly, here modulus of z1 upon z2 is r1 by r2, that is modulus of z1 upon modulus of z2. And argument of z1 upon z2 is nothing but alpha minus beta, that is argument of z1 minus argument of z2. Now let us see examples of each of this. Let z1 be 1 plus i and z2 be 1 minus i then their polar form can be given by root 2 into e raised to i pi by 4 and root 2 into e raised to i 7 pi by 4 respectively. Then z1 into z2 be root 2 into e raised to i pi by 4 into root 2 into e raised to i 7 pi by 4. Simplifying which, we get z1 into z2 as 2 into e raised to i pi by 4 plus 7 pi by 4 that is 2 into e raised to i 8 pi by 4 which is same as 2 into e raised to i 2 pi. So clearly 2 is modulus of z1 into z2 and 2 pi is argument of z1 into z2. Now let us find out what is z1 upon z2. z1 upon z2 will be 
root 2 into e raised to i pi by 4 upon root 2 into e raised to i 7 pi by 4. This root 2 and root 2 will get cancelled. This e raised to i pi by 4 upon e raised to i 7 pi by 4 can be written in this way. Now pi by 4 minus 7 pi by 4 will be equal to minus 6 pi by 4. So this e raised to minus i 6 pi by 4 can be written as e raised to minus i 3 pi by 2. So clearly 1 is the modulus of z1 upon z2 and minus 3 pi by 2 is argument of z1 upon z2. I hope guys you understood these examples. Next we will see how to find out modulus and argument of z raised to n. For that consider complex number z is equal to x plus i y whose polar form is r into e raised to i theta. Then z raised to n can be given by r into e raised to i theta raised to n which is simply r raised to n into e raised to i n theta. So clearly r raised to n is modulus of z raised to n and n theta is argument of z raised to n. Let me show you an example of this. Consider a complex number z is equal to 1 plus i. Here modulus of z will be root of 1 plus 1 that is root 2 and argument of z will be tan inverse of 1 by 1 that is pi by 4. Now what will be the modulus of z cube? Here to find out modulus of z cube you do not need to find out what is z cube. You simply find out what is cube of modulus of z. So here cube of modulus of z is root 2 cube. So root 2 cube is nothing but modulus of z cube. Similarly, what is argument of z cube? For that also you do not need to find out what is z cube. You simply multiply 3 with this argument of z as I said it earlier here. So argument of z cube is 3 into pi by 4. I hope guys you understood how to find out modulus and argument of z raised to n. In my next video, I will be discussing very important theorem in the theory of complex numbers which is called as de Moivre's theorem. So till then, keep watching. Thank you all of you. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get updates about my new videos.